Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I bring you my first impressions of the BenQ EX2510 IPS monitor. This monitor has very good wide viewing angles as you can see right here in the video. This is Forza Horizon 4 on the Xbox Series X and it retains so much information from the side and this is at an extreme angle. This is not even on the side, this is more to the side on the right about three steps to the right. Nobody really plays like this. Look how much information the picture still retains while still looking contrasty and punchy and confirming also that the BenQ EX2510 does support 120Hz gaming at 1080p. Since it's 25 inches, it looks super clear, crystal clear, just as good as any of the other monitors here on the channel at 120Hz. In the Xbox Series X, it does allow a 4K signal. It does allow 1080p at 120Hz. And you'll see that it's the same for the PlayStation 5. Again, I am super surprised with this monitor. I got this monitor for the Xbox Series S. Because it's 25 inches, it's 1080p. And since the Xbox Series S has less horsepower than the X, I thought why not pair it with a 1080p monitor that's fast, that gets the job done, so I can enjoy my Series S and I am blown away by the value proposed here by BenQ. You will not be disappointed if you pair this monitor with your Xbox Series S or X or PS5. It can do 120Hz gaming. It can accept a 4K signal at 60Hz. You heard it right. This little guy, this little monitor, 25-incher, can accept a 4K signal and you'll see that in a bit with Spider-Man at 60 Hertz in 4K. And it also can do 120 Hertz on the PlayStation 5. But everything looks good. The contrast, everything is fine. The colors are subdued when you turn it on. I put color vibrance up to 12 to 13. Anything more makes it look too fake, like too much artificial color. You can tell it's fake. Just keep it at 11 or 12 or 13, like I do, just to give it an extra kick with color. But here in Spider-Man, the city looks beautiful. And showing you here, it's in 4K 60. It does accept HDR. Can you believe that? And again, showing you the performance mode to get 120 Hertz on the PlayStation 5. So here we go with Call of Duty Cold War, as this is a perfect game to test because it does have an outstanding 120 Hertz performance. Look how crystal clear this image looks. Everything is beautiful. Again, I am super surprised with this monitor because it's not expensive. It's on the cheap side if you think about it compared to other monitors out there. It can handle 120 hertz. It can handle the 4K signal acceptance. And this is a worthy successor to my old XL2720Z that back in 2015 was premium grade. So BenQ has a hit with this monitor. If you're thinking of buying a spare monitor for an Xbox Series S, for a family member, or if you want to have a party with a whole bunch of monitors, this is the perfect one. Look no further. I can't recommend this enough. This is an amazing value. There's so much value packed into this monitor. Plus it has speakers. You guys are hearing that right now in this video. There's speakers on this monitor and they're not bad speakers. They're pretty good speakers. Now I keep it on cinema because that's what gives me the most punch, I guess, if you want to call it with some echoey bass. For this monitor to have the speakers, it's an amazing value. And if you're looking for something for the holidays, for someone or for yourself, you cannot go wrong. I highly recommend this monitor just by me playing it for the last week. I highly recommend it. It blew me away from the amount of value you get. And I'm happy to have a BenQ back in the lineup because I loved my XL2720Z. And now this is my favorite BenQ monitor because of all the value it has for PC and console gaming. This is a true dual purpose monitor that you cannot go wrong. And I'm gonna be showing this monitor off with my Xbox Series S as I think it's a perfect fit. This 1080p monitor would be able to display those beautiful graphics on the Xbox Series S. But many more videos coming in the future showcasing the BenQ EX2510 to help you in your buying decision. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on a future video. I'll see you guys next time.